Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the Basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today we will be unboxing and reviewing the latest series of the minifigures and a huge mega egg, okay? Let's have a look. Alright guys, check this out. So right here, basically we have 10 different boxes which contains the entire set of the minifigures right here, okay? And inside this mega egg, we actually have a new figure to add to our collection, which I'm super excited about. So in today's video, we are going to focus on minifigures. Let's head over to Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands to pick up all the different Mattel minis, okay? So let's go, guys! Alright guys, we're now at Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands. We are going to put different figures into this box, okay? So firstly, let's pick up all the different Mega Dinosaurs from the Mega Surprise 8 from Captive Collection. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Last two. Hmm, I'm actually thinking of doing a mini Indoraptor collection. Shall we do it? Let's just do it. Alright, all our Indoraptors are in the box. Now let's head over to the mini shelves to pick up the different figures for comparison. Let's do this. Okay guys, so of these two rows are all the Mattel mini. So I think let's just bring all of them down for comparison. This is going to be hard work, but let's just do this. Hey guys, all inside the box, let's head back to the Dino Dungeon. Alright guys, check out my setup right here. Does it look cool? I think so. So I've actually like, you know, created this black space. I think it looks cooler right now. I may get another piece to make the entire background, you know, grey in colour. I think that would be quite nice. Do you guys prefer grey or white? Let me know down below, okay? Let's begin the video by opening some of these minis first before we open the big egg, okay? So let me get a pair of... um box cutter so just gonna cut this open let's see hopefully you're able to get the new ones pretty excited about this right okay we've actually got you know this set right here which i don't really want because we have tons of them right here so the first set is actually the quadlers and the dilophosaurus which i think are exactly the same as the previous ones so let's have a look at this checklist right here. Looks pretty good. I am definitely hoping to get a two, two Pandectalus and a Pantoceratops, that's for sure. All right, let's move on and open another box. Let's go with this one, Series 2. It clearly says Series 2, but why are we, you know, getting a lot of Series 1 figures? Yeah, there we go again. Iguanodon and Sakusukers, they are the same because we already have this Iguanodon previously. So right now we have like two of them, okay? And Sakusukers, which we already have in our, you know, previous series. Series 1 has the same Sakusukers, so yeah, they should have like repainted it into a different Sakusukers. I think that will be much cooler, but it's fine. Let's just continue and open more boxes. All right, let's see. Okay, let's get this pack out. Wow, yes, finally, I think we have something new. All right, these are the new figures, but I have no idea what dinosaur this is. Is this an Albertosaurus? It doesn't look like it. I think some of some of you guys actually told me it's a Tritops. I've never heard of a Tritops, so yeah, let me know down below, but this one, it's cool. This is the latest one. Very nice. And we have a beautiful Pantoceratops. How about that? Really, really beautiful figure right here. As you guys can see, it is way bigger than the other Ceratopsians like the Triceratops and the Sinoceratops. So yes, well done, Dan. You finally got some new figures. Let's move on to the gigantic egg right now, okay? Let's do this because there is a new mega figure inside. Okay, let's take a look at this egg right here. So you can see there are two different raptors, one super-sized T-Rex. Oh, 
The T-Rex should be the same, but there are two raptors that we don't have, which is pretty awesome. So let's have um, let me just slice this open. Oh my goodness! There you go. That was fast. Okay, let's see what's inside. Okay, so firstly, wow, this is new. This is a new, you know, card holder. And there is a pack of figures inside. We shall take a look at this later on. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is supposed to be the visitor center. Let me just cut this open and show you guys, okay? But I don't think I will be Oops, I just made a mess out of this. Oh my goodness. Let me just try this again. This is really bad. I've just like destroyed this pack. Oh dear. It's okay, it's fine. Let's just destroy it. Wow, let's have a look at what's inside. I don't think I will be um, assembling this because once you assemble it, it will take up a lot of space. I might assemble it if I have another set. Wow, it looks cool. The visitor center. You can basically like, you know, assemble this to form like a paper cutout of a visitor center. I think that's pretty awesome. That's very, very awesome to be honest. Okay, we have an egg right here. We have some slime. Is this T-Rex the same as the one I don't think so. I think it's a different T-Rex, so I'm definitely going to assemble this T-Rex. Oh, it comes with a collector's card as well. Let's open this. Be really, really careful because I don't want to cut the card. Let's see. Wow. Okay, the card is slightly damaged as you guys can see, but it's fine. Wow, this is a new card. Velociraptors on the loose. Beautiful card. Okay, of course, at the back, you're able to find different details. You can see the intelligence of the Velociraptor. It's super high. Awesome. Okay, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put the cards right here. Um, let's open this pack first. Okay, so let's see what's hidden inside this little case, I think. They are the new raptors, if, if I'm not wrong. Let's see. Okay, cool. Let's pour the contents out. Let's pop this right in. Beautiful raptor. Let's try to find the other raptor for comparison. Oh, I didn't bring the Captain Collection raptors. But I'm pretty sure this is a new one. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's put this one right here. I think there is another raptor inside this egg, which is a different one. So let me just slice this open first. So I don't use this part because it tends to get super messy. So I love to just slice it here so that I have a very clean cut. So sometimes I can still keep this little uh, film. All right, let's see what's inside. Shall we pour the slime out? It's been a while since we have like, you know, played with slime, so let's let's see. Okay. So this is basically the um amber slime. Fortunately, it doesn't really like stick to your fingers and hands, so it's kind of manageable. I remember there was a series where the slime was extremely hard to get it off. Okay, so this one should be another figure. The other raptor, so let's have a look. Okay, who? Cool. Yep, you can see it is a different sculpt, I think. Yep, they actually used the blue sculpt as um, the sculpt, the Lost Raptor Blue. So we have two new raptors to add to our collection, which I'm super happy with. Okay, it's time for us to assemble the big boy, the bad boy, the bad girl. <laughs> okay, but I'm not too sure. I think it's the same one, guys. It does look very, no, it's different. It's a different T-Rex. You can see the coloration of the tail is actually very different. Let's just do this, let's do this. 
Okay, it's going to be a little bit messy. That's for sure. So let's open the slime box first. And um, I think this is the body, if I'm not wrong. We have to clean this one up definitely for sure, 100%. Let's get the body out. It feels the same. It's the same one, guys. I have been tricked. It is the same T-Rex. Yep, guys, it's the same. You can take a look at this. Yep, it's the same. I'm, I mean, there are slight difference, but that is not a design difference. It's more like, you know, a production difference. So let's let's just get it out. I mean, since we've already opened this, there's no turning back. So let's get the tail out. This is the Ember Gel, which is kind of cool. Yeah. If, it feels like jelly, but this is not something that you can eat, that's for sure. So stay away from eating them. Okay, this one has got to be the most challenging. This is basically the um, quicksand. Oh dear, my, my fingers are really, really sticky. So I have to cut this open using a um, box cutter. My fingers are too slippery to actually peel it off. So let's see. Let's get this out. This is the head. Yeah, so let's head over and wash this up and uh, assemble it. Okay guys, I am back with the part. So let's just fix this up real quick. So there you go, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but somehow I feel it looks a little bit different. Let's just think, let's just take it as it is a different. You can see the legs are actually darker here as compared to this. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay then, you, I think you're, right now you're just trying to console yourself. It is the same T-Rex. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Let's move on to the next figure, okay? So let's open this, there's a bit of like styrofoam, you know, stuck to um, the box, that's fine. Let's um, open this up. I'm gonna cut like a little slit right here at the side of the box so it's easier for us to open so hopefully we are able to get i don't want we have this i don't want this i don't want this i don't want i want this i want this okay let's see young trinosaurus and herrerasaurus unfortunately we already have them so let's just place uh, them right here okay and you can see the young Chandosaurus has some issues standing. It's fine. I'm just, I'll just put it right here together the rest. Okay, let's take a break from the minifigures and let's do a mini Indoraptor collection. Let's do this. All right, guys, as you know, the Super Colossal Indoraptor is basically the latest Indoraptor in my collection, okay? The second latest one is basically this, which is the Fierce Changer. Indoraptor, which can be transformed into a Brachiosaurus. I wouldn't spend time like transforming this because you guys have already seen it before. So you can see this is basically the face of the Brachiosaurus. Yeah, it can be transformed into a Brachiosaurus. It's kind of fun for sure, um, but not the best looking figures. A lot of people actually don't like this, but I, I kind of like it. I think it's really fun and cool, okay? And the third one is basically this, which is the Trek and Attack Indoraptor, which I think is one of the best indoor figure, Indoraptor figures out there so far. Except the tail is kind of like shot for it. Okay, I'm just place this right here. And let's return to one of these boxes, okay? Let's open this. Hopefully, we are able to get the new figures. Let's go. Right, let's open this. Is this a new one? Okay, Conotaurus. I don't think so because we have the Conotaurus sitting right over here, so it's not a new one, that's for sure. For the Galley Mimers, um, I'm not exactly sure. Let's have a look. You know, we do have a couple of Galley Mimers right here, guys. Okay, let's see. Uh, Galley Mimers. 
Yep, we do have a yellow Gallimimers. This is the brown one. Do we have a brown Gallimimers? I think so. I think I've seen it before. Yeah, there you go. So it's not a new one. It's definitely, you know, a repeat. So we have lots of repeats, which is kind of um, sad, I would say. Okay, now let's open another box. Hopefully, we're able to land the new one soon. Let's get this out. Yes, we have the new one. Two pawn dactylers, beautiful. Two pan dactylers right here. It's not a tapi jarra. It looks like a tapi jarra, but the crest is actually much bigger than the one from tapi jarra of tapi jarra. And what do we have right here? I think this should be the Albertosaurus without a doubt. I remember this color scheme, so I think it should be a, you know, Albertosaurus. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Okay, next item. Let's get this out. This is my last box. This is like a, um, you know, uh, a starter box. There's a limited edition card. This card, to be honest, is um, really, really common. As long as you buy a box of this, you'll be able to get, um, you know, one figure. I mean, one card. Let's open a few packs today because we are still lacking like six cards to complete the entire set. Let's see. Okay, let's see. All the common cards, we already have them. This is basically uh, the Indominus Rex, chomping down on a gyrosphere, Stegosaurus, beautiful card. This is a Raptor, a Trosser Raptor, Tyrannosaurus Rex, that's blue, and Owen's hand. Okay, nice first pack. Next, let's open another box before we jump you know into a different thing i like to keep things different for you guys let's see wow this one is um not a new one that's for sure okay this it's in a pseudo ceratops is definitely a new figure we don't have this so you can see besides the Panther Ceratops, we also have the Nasuto Ceratops as the new Ceratopsians. Majingosaurus is not a new figure, unfortunately, we already have this. You can check it out, it's right here guys, right over here. So we have two Majingosaurus right now. Exactly the same, I think they could have like painted it in a different paint scheme, I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, now let's take a look at more Indoraptors. This is perhaps one of the best out there. The grab and growl Indoraptor, but unfortunately, the sounds are not working for me right now. I have no idea how to fix it. I've tried to change the batteries. The, you know, the battery compartment was not dirty, so it's very clean. So I have no idea why it actually, are, you know, you know, doesn't work right now. No idea. And this is the battle damage Indoraptor, which is, you know, another really really awesome figure. I would say the battle damage Indoraptor has got to be the top three best Indoraptor figures. I will rate um, the Super Poseable as top 3 as well. The Super Colossus probably, probably. Not a track and attack. The track and attack, it has a very weird sculpt. That's for sure. Okay, let's open one more pack of these cards. Hopefully, we're able to get the foil cards. Hopefully, the shiny metallic foil cards that we are hoping to complete the set with. There's a possibility that we may get it. Who knows? Let's see. <gasps> yes! This is the one, guys. This is the one that we are hoping to get. This is the one. Oh my goodness. We finally got it. Let's take a look at the rest. Okay, this is our bunch of um, Quatlers, I, I think. Um, no, two Pandectalus, not too sure. Um, Spinosaurus. Yes, this one, it's one of the holy grails okay take a look at this guys i've basically placed it into a cut loader so it's nicely protected beautiful cut love this all right so um now let's continue to open this hopefully we're able to complete the set i think we have already complete the set right no not yet we still we have still yet to get the spinosaurus and the indominus rex which should be like you know the best 
so far. Oh, there you go. The Indominus Rex is here. Awesome. Nice. Finally, after a long wait, we managed to get the Indominus Rex. You can see this is like a metallic version, but it is different from the previous, you know, Mattel series, which is like, you know, using the harder material. This is kind of like soft. Yep, soft rubbery figure, but with metallic paint on top. So this is pretty cool. All right, let's move on to the next staff. Let's open one more pack in the hope to land another metallic card that we are hoping to get, but not all metallic cards. You know, all of this we um, are basically like, you know, base cards, Gyro Spear, T-Rex, Galley Mimers, there's Claire and um, Franklin, there's a T-Rex looking in at his baby on the table. Cool. Cool, cool set of cards, that's for sure. Okay, now let's quickly... Oh, we haven't... I haven't shown you guys this one. So for this set right here, the Mega figures, we actually have a Pyroraptor Spinosaurus. Okay. We also have the Triceratops. Triceratops, I have two of them. Giganotosaurus, which is um, a very beautiful one, nicely crafted. And the last one is actually this Baryonyx with mechanical arm. Fantastic figure, but this figure of mine can stand, which is kind of, um, you know, super annoying. Okay, now let's take a look at some of these minifigures right here, guys. So, um, Suko Mimers, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Cantrosaurus, Baryonyx, Baryonyx Green version, another Giganotosaurus with um, an unarticulated jaw. This one has an articulated articulated jaw <laughs> all right i have some you know i'm getting tongue tied today i have no idea why stegosaurus um beautiful sanoceratops majingosaurus you guys have seen this a different sucomimus different color very version okay very cool we have two more boxes to go so let's have a look right now let's see Okay, these are basically the same Baryonyx and Cantrosaurus, so these are no different. So the last box, if we are not wrong, it should be the Spinosaurus. So the Spinosaurus is actually a new addition. Of course, it was actually in a um, couple of years back in the previous series, but not this Jurassic World uh, 2022 series. Yeah, beautiful figure. Over here, you guys can see Spinosaurus, huge one. Let's do a size comparison. Wow. It's kind of big. It's close to the size of a Giganotosaurus, but slightly smaller. So I think in terms of the size, they are pretty size accurate. Let's see, T-Rex versus Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus should be slightly larger. Okay, very cool. Um, just a quick show, Stegosaurus, Yangchenosaurus, Triceratops, Parasaurolophus, yeah, we, we have tons of them, Therizinosaurus, um, Conotaurus. Okay, let's take a pause and continue with our Indoraptor collection. We just have a few more. These two are basically basic figures, yep. Here's another one, we have two of them, they are exactly the same. Okay, sorry for the mess. Today's video is really, really messy because of the minifigures. And this was the first Indoraptor released back in like 2018. It doesn't have any sound, so it's perfect. It's really cool. Love this. And I think in terms of the accuracy, this one has a has a much more, you know, accuracy. The tail is actually much longer. We have a couple of um, smaller figures, as you guys can see. These two are basically from the Mattel minis from the previous season, not series, season, okay? We also have this, which is a cup topper, which is a very nice figure. Um, this one right here, another mini figure. And we have a beautiful Funko Pop Indoraptor figure right over here as well. Okay, let's move on back to the uh, mini figures. Let's continue, let's have a look at this, a bunch of the figures. All the new figures, I have actually placed them right here, so it's looking very good. 
Allosaurus, Gallimimers, Gallimimers again, Herrerasaurus, this is um, Uranosaurus, Triceratops, this is a very nice Pyroraptor, that's for sure. Gallimimers again, Atrociraptor, Young Trinosaurus, Triceratops, Lytrosaurus. Um, these are basically Atrociraptors, if I'm not wrong, but this one seems to be. Um, this is a raptor, a velociraptor. With the T Rex, with a different sculpt. A Margosaurus is very cool. Pteranodon. Velociraptors, two of them. Sticky Moloch. And uh, we have a worker. Dilophosaurus again. Claire. Um, this is um, Kalar. Atrociraptor. Dimorphodon. <laughs> we have so many of them. Way too many. Okay, one figure just dropped in. I think it's Dr. Alan Grant. A Metrodon. Um, Atrociraptors. Raptor, Owen, cute little Owen. Um, Raptor again, Quetzalcoatlus, Ankylosaurus. Let me just get all of them over here. There's so many of them, but we have to go quick because I know that you guys want like me to go fast. Raptor, Iguanodon, Stegosaurus with a moving tail. Very nice. Oh, Concavenator. I, I like this one. Um, Ceratosaurus. Pteranodons, I don't like the repeats because they have actually done like a lot of repaints. Ceratosaurus, um, Baryonyx, Triceratops, Therizinosaurus, Atrociraptors, two of them, Lytrosaurus, Lytrosaurus. They look exactly the same, but if you take a look, they have different prints. Yeah, it's different, it's different. Gallimimers and another raptor. Oh, one last one, guys. One right here. Okay, so I've actually placed all of them into this box that we, I mean, which we have to place them back into the shelf. It's going to be hard work, guys. It will take at least half an hour, I feel. Okay, so to do a roundup, okay. Um, oh, we still have a couple of um, indoor raptors. The super poseable one is still here. A uh, couple of um, indoor raptors figures. So this one is basically the basic figure, 6 inch basic figure, another Mattel Mini from the previous season. This is a Takara Tomy uh, minifigure. Um, previous season, Mattel Mini, we have a couple of them. And here we have uh, one from Takara Tomy as well, from the um, Jurassic World Any Year series. It's quite a nice one, that's for sure. Um, and here are two more Indoraptors. Okay, I am going to end the video by opening another pack of the cards. I'm actually hoping to complete the set. We are still, um, we still need the one, the mosquito in the ambo. I think that one is also a, a very rare card, that's for sure. All of these base cards, we have already completed them, that's for sure. There's a beautiful blue card, Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's a young T-Rex, Sticky Moloch, and Dr. Henry Wu. Let's open one more before we call it a day. I don't see any shiny cards. Oh, there's one. Probably a good one. Let's see. This is um, Lockwood and Claire uh, and the Quadlers. This is a beautiful card, but we do have it. Oh my goodness! Okay, just one last one. One finer pack. One finer pack. Let's do this. No, there's no. There's one. That's a uh, Owen. Lophosaurus. Stegosaurus. Ceratops. Alright, alright, 
see the new figure, and of course this Tyrannosaurus Rex, <laughs> which I think it's it's the same one. Then come on. All right, thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. You can actually request for a personalized video from from me. Just go on to the About Us tab. There's a link right there. Copy the link, paste it, and request for a personalized video from me to you. Okay. Uh, as you guys know, I will be launching Tyrone, the Chomsky Tyrannosaurus Rex. Bye.